Uh, hi, James. You all right? Hey, man. Cool. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks. I really yeah. enjoyed the show. Oh, thank you, man. Good fun. Uh, I'm going to begin just by asking what it was about about this character and just this whole project that, that initially attracted you in. Yeah, you know, it's um, the, the way I tend to work is is, is if uh, there's something in the writing that that attracts me, and there was something in Rebecca Cutter's words and the story uh, that she was creating, I, I just noticed that I, I I couldn't stop thinking about it after I put it down. And it's that thing of like, when you're laying there in bed at night and now you're going over the story in your head, now you're going over different possibilities. And, and I knew I'd, I'd, uh, I'd become obsessed. So, uh, I mean, I love the role. I mean, also I've got to say you're, you're the, the best thing in the credits where you're the, and at the end, you know, at the end it says, and James Bajdeo. And I think that's, yeah, that's always, yeah. the, it's always the best person to be. You always want to be the and. Um, but I mean, this character is someone who he, excuse my French, but he doesn't give a shit, you know, he's, he's brave and courageous and sometimes to his detriment. But yeah. when you play characters like that, and you have played really courageous characters before, do you ever find that they kind of rub off on you at all? Do you ever find that you kind of take good and positive aspects from characters that you play and try and even subconsciously kind of put them into your own self? Oh, I, I hope so, man. I, you know, it's a weird thing being an actor, you know, I, I've been doing this for 20 years. You kind of start to lose a sense of self sometimes if you're continually hopping from one character to another. So I, yeah, there's been some characters I've played in my life that I, 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 uh, were better men than I am. And I hope I, I've learned from them. And I, um, you know, I, I've t t tried to take some of the things I've learned and, uh, and try to apply it to my own life. You know, Ray's, Ray's a little different though, man. Ray's, uh, I'm still trying to figure him out. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he can be really cocky and abrasive. I, I think there is this other side to him that people don't get to see. And um, there is a sensitive side. There's a vulnerable side. There's definitely a fearful side. And, um, you know, he's just trying to do the best he can. So when you play a sort of detective, do you find that your 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 reference points are based on real life detectives, or do you think because it's a kind of character that's become so synonymous with sort of TV and, and film, do you find actually in some ways your your greatest access to the characters through other TV and sort of cinematic detectives rather than the kind of the real life variety? Well, that's a really good question. You know, because there is a world where you kind of want to avoid when everyone else has done or is currently doing, you know? I mean, cause, cause you're right, playing detectives and police officers, it's, it's a very common thing in the entertainment industry. We, there's a lot of great stories out there. Same thing with, with doctors, lawyers, you know, we, we, so what do you do that makes it different? If nine out of 10 people are gonna do it one way, how do you become the one out of 10 that, that goes a different direction? And so, you know, we would talk about that on set. Um, I, I will say I did spend some time with, uh, uh, two narcotics task force officers up in Massachusetts. And um, they, they kind of supported me throughout the entire time. And I could find little things to take from each one of them. But at the end of the day, it's you. It's, it's, it's yourself that you have to interpret everything. And, and um, so for better or for worse, there's a lot of me in Ray, but I, I'm not Ray, man. <laughs> uh, so just very quickly before I go, it's only a short interview, but I mean, really exciting news about Rebel Ridge. I was just wondering about, I mean, that, obviously that looks really exciting, but where, where, do you have any idea when that might start and resume? Because obviously the, the whole industry at the moment is at a bit of a standstill. I, I know we're all, we're all kind of sitting here. I think like everyone else and everyone else in the world is trying to figure out when it's going to be safe to go back to work. It's hard to do it, you know, in production. We're a large group of people who work in uh, very close proximity to each other, but I, I can't wait, man. Jeremy Saulnier is one of my favorite directors in the world, and uh, Johnny Boyega is a great actor. I, it's a really, uh, it's a really cool project, and uh, uh, you know, we'll we'll get back at it one day. Cool, brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time, sir. Much appreciated, James. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Bye, bye. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.